you know, here in the streets of Boston, I've had people come up to me left and right since I've been here. Uh, usually they do something like, <laughs> or, you know, aren't you that guy? And so, you know, everyone thinks they're being very clever, but they all do one of three things. You know. John Moshita's claim to fame is that the Guinness Book lists him as the world's fastest talking man, more than 500 words per minute. But his most memorable moments have been on television in ads for Federal Express. And lately, Minute Rice. Slice the green peppers, use them with your Minute Rice from a bear, pie, or pilaf. Chop a chicken for catch a tortoise. Slice the steak for stroganoff. Plain, I personally prefer plain with a pat. Side dishes, Minute Rice, versus the Minute Rice. At what point did you realize you had this gift? Well, when I was 12 years old growing up on Long Island, there was a cerebral palsy fair a few blocks away from my house, and they announced that they would donate $2,000 to cerebral palsy for anyone that broke a Guinness record. So at first, I wanted to ride the roller coaster with Coney Island. So I called Coney Island, and they said, hey, kid, take a hike at 12 years old. We're not going to let you strap yourself into the cyclone for two weeks straight. So I went home. And I started flipping through the book and decided I was going to eat a car, swallow lead pipes. So the next best thing was to lock myself in a room and teach myself how to do the fast talking. I also grew up in a family with five sisters, so to get a word in edgewise, it was self-defense. Moshida is currently on tour in professorial attire, promoting this spoof of academia. Four years of learning condensed into ten minutes of listening. So, but it's a neat little thing. It comes with fold out, a curriculum, a little pocket-sized diploma. Once you graduate, you get to keep that. And it's orientation, biology, psychology, philosophy, political science, Roman studies, physics, visual arts, comparative literature, economics, and football. Look what I whipped up with minute rice. Minute rice garden, medley, Chinese chicken, and seafood cacciatore. Maybe we'll move on to Mexican beef and minute rice, minute rice and chicken, I'm a demon. Do you ever, like, trip over a word or something there? I mean, uh, do you? Generally what, generally what will happen, especially if I'm doing an industrial film or something, and you're trying to get six pages of dialogue out, and I'm sitting there, and I never memorize the things because they change them at every last minute. So I'm looking right into the camera, and it's a teleprompter there and I'm reading it and I'll mispronounce a word that nobody will catch. I mean it won't be a bad mispronunciation but it'll it'll be wrong uh -huh. and my brain will hear it but I'll keep going because nobody stopped me and about six words later the brain goes whoa you can't get away with that and all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> and I go what'd you stop it was great it was great I said no I mispronounced that word four paragraphs back. Lung trouble can come from the air you breathe at work but thanks to the American Lung Association you can breathe a little easier. They're working to fight all these lung diseases. Your lungs are a miracle. Take care of your lungs. They're only human and if my lungs weren't in great shape I couldn't have said all this. The American uh, the reason you were put into the uh, Guinness Book, by the way, was because you sang the song, uh, You Gotta... You Got you Trouble, got trouble. Okay. right, from the Music Man. Um, can you give us a little bit of that? Let's I'll give it a shot. I haven't done it in a while here, so let's see. Um, Freddie, the question is, your situation, you do not work to challenge, you are not worth the caliber, just to indicate that the presence of the pool table in your community, will get shoved my friends right here, say to a right here, river city, where I'm a good place, so you might have heard the same, the RSS, no, the cool in my hand, gold, and have a cut of horses, and cool it, and keen eye. So it's a little fast to understand, but when they slow it down... <laughs> Wait a minute, you expect me to buy that? I tell you what, here's If you another. put this on a lexicon <laughs> time compressor and you slow it down, really? you will in fact hear each and every word. That's how they, they have to verify it to be a record. Your word is mine, okay, right. So here's a new contemporary challenge. This is from uh, Michael Jackson's new album. Uh, his uh, first cut there, Bad. I'm bad, I'm bad. If you could just sort of give us your rendition of it. I can hear that. I'll give it up to the, the first chorus there, okay. Your butt is mine, gonna tell you right. You show, show your face in the broad daylight. I'm telling you how I feel, gonna hurt your mind. Gonna, don't shoot to kill, come on, come on, lay it on me, all right. I'm giving you one on the count of three to show you stuff or let it be. I'm telling you, just watch your mouth. I know you game. What about you? Well, I say this guy's a limit, and to me, that's really true. But my friend, you see nothing, just wait till I get through because I'm bad, bad. Come on, come on. Bad, bad, really, really bad. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, you know, you know, bad, bad, really, really bad. You know I'm bad, I'm bad. Come on, come on, you know, bad, bad, really, really bad. And the whole world does the answer just right. Just tell, just tell you once again, who's bad? Close. Very sloppy, but close. Oh, not, that wasn't bad, actually. That wasn't bad. Bad. Who's bad? I'm not bad. Am I bad? For the record, if you're curious, it was Jackson in a minute eight, Machida in just 20 seconds. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.